Hello, welcome my beloved brothers and sisters to our set MTA series today here at Hill Media Africa. Our topic today is consumed in his love. Wow. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is the love of God, so we can't go further without allowing him who is to in whom we are to be consumed to take absolute possession of us so that what we should may merit our people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, we beg you to melt us and mold us and fill us with your love that as you use us, we may be consumed in your love for the poor and the marginalized, for the greater glory of God through Christ our Lord. Amen. How I wish you could enter into my heart. How I wish you could see through me and see the value and see the valor and see the invitation and see what the heart is bleeding because of his love. Because of the love of God. The love that invites us to test and see that the Lord is good. Test for the people of God. Test for the poor and the marginalized. Test for what Jesus did on the cross of Calvary. Consumed in his love. He said, consumatum est. It is finished. It is consummated. When we enter into this forum, into this place of his love, then we understand when he said, take me deeper in your love, take me deeper in your grace, the grace of efficacy, the grace of submission and sacrificing, the grace of entering into the volume of his love, the depth of his love, of his giving, of his submission, of his entering. I can't but wonder how I can be distracted, how anybody can be distracted by this call to approval, to, to acceptance. When we feel that these are not given to us or these are not allowed for us and we see isolation and segregation and the total negation and the rejection, we see them as a vices. We see them as obstacles that are going to destroy our love for God, love for the poor and the marginalized. But I say to you, how else can you be consumed in his love? How else would you be consumed with his love? When we make a decision, when we follow, because we are in the mission of emptying our lives, regardless of the approval of man, or the approval of anything under the heavens. Only because we know, we see clearly his mission, his vision, and we know what his call holds in hope for us. And that's what is making us put the blinder on like a horse. Focus, direct to the destiny, to our destination, following where Christ, our master, has led on before. My food is to do the will of my Father. My food is to empty my life for the world. And he said, I lay down my life. And so freely, I also take it all by myself. No one takes this honor unto himself. No one can deny me what God has given to me. They can take away my sultan, for example. They can take away my sword, for example. They can take away my shoe, for example. They can take away my house, for example. But the innermost love of God, the Holy Spirit has planted and implanted in me. No one can take it away because it is the source of the Agile Sequito essay. It is the source of the being from where the being and the action flows from. They cannot take it away by virtue of anything because the attitude indeed is coming from him who is the source of all attitudes. Consumed in his love. Consumed by his love. 
my brothers and sisters, if truly we are for Christ, which I believe we are, let us focus on Christ. Let us focus on what Christ did and follow where Christ leads so that like Christ, consumatum est, like Christ, if it's finished, like Christ, into your hands I commend my spirit, like Christ, let your will be done and not my will, we too may be consumed absolutely in the love that was in the beginning, that was with God, the love that has taken flesh and now the world among us through Christ our Lord. Amen.